Hello everyone, most of you are asking for power electronics, so in today's lecture we will see power electronic waveforms and of course we are not going to discuss now converter operation and everything, I will just show you how the waveforms will look like for a single phase half wave controlled or uncontrolled and these are the results what we are going to see are done in different simulation platforms and those simulation results are kept in this animation file and we'll be giving this animation file in the description below so that you can check it out so first let's take single phase half wave rectifier let's take uncontrolled one that is diode rectifier I'm taking diode rectifier with R load I'm taking R load half wave diode rectifier R load if diode is on this is the circuit if diode is off this is the circuit and corresponding waveforms these are input voltage what we are giving input voltage and this red one is output voltage and this blue one is output current by taking this R value as 2 ohms next if I take RL load these are waveforms same red one is output voltage blue one is output current with RL load and corresponding circuit here I am not explaining how we got this waveform we will be doing this in later stages but for the time being I am giving this output voltage waveforms to you so that you can check it out later you can check at different loads how the waveform is and further what if you have freewheeling diode R load with freewheeling diode and what is with R E load R E load with more value of E here this E value is little more 150 volts here then what is output this is E value and this red one is supply voltage with R L E load this output R L load with more value of E that is output what if you take SCR with the SCR we know we must be having firing angle with no firing angle there is no output voltage if I give 0 degrees firing angle this output voltage and current with 30 degrees with 60 degrees 90 120 150 180 again RL load with no firing angle this is a, there is no output with 0 degrees firing angle corresponding output and this output is just similar to the diode case 30 degrees so different firing angles if I change the firing angle how the current and voltage of output changes next with RL load with freewheeling diode this is a waveform without freewheeling diode without freewheeling diode and 0 degrees firing angle if you add freewheeling diode and 0 degrees firing angle this freewheeling diode will make negative part it will clip and corresponding current change you observe the current change without freewheeling diode and with freewheeling diode with freewheeling 30 degrees 60 degrees different angles R E load 
Firing angle is 10 degrees. This is a firing pulse. Firing pulse is at 10 degree. Red one is output voltage. Output current is zero. 20 degrees. Output current is still zero. Again, I'm not describing the operation here. I'm just giving you the output waveforms. I will describe these converters in the later stage. 30 degrees, 60 degrees. As I keep changing firing angle, output will get changed. Or LE load at different firing angles. This video we are doing just to let you know how to use this animation file and the file is given in the description below. This just to give a view how to use this. So this is all about half wave rectifier, controlled and un uncontrolled. Let's come to full wave. Full wave diode rectifier with R load this is circuit, full wave bridge rectifier and this when only D1, D2 are on, this is a circuit. If D3, D4 are on, this is a circuit and input voltage as it is, as we have seen before, output voltage and output current is a blue one. With RL load, there won't be change in any voltage. Voltage is pattern is same, but current will be changing. Current has changed now. Now let's see SCR case. If I place thyristor with R load and zero degrees firing angle, we know for zero, zero degrees firing angle, it will just act as a diode bridge. 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90, 120, 150, 180. RL load with 0 degrees, 30, 60, 90, 120, 170. What if I make RL load with big value of or high value of inductance? That is continuous conduction mode. 0 degrees, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 170. If you see output average values, output average voltage is negative here. And RL load with freewheeling diode, as we are using freewheeling diode, we won't be getting any negative voltage. Our LE load, 0 degrees firing, 20 degrees firing, 30 degrees firing, 60, 90, like this. So this is how you can use this. And don't worry, we'll be doing the operational lecture in the coming classes. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to download this file from the description below and for more updates subscribe to our channel